Hey guys, I'm here with little Monica Sophia. Um, since I have her undressed already, I thought I would do a very quick body review for her and just kind of share my thoughts on this body because I am in love with this body. Um, over the years, I did um, dealt with a lot of the SD girl body, but I feel like this is one of the best body I've ever come across. Um, she is really finely built. Um, her it, she just looks very delicate because how she was sculpted in certain parts of her body um, and she's just very sturdy um, I mean I guess she is a brand new doll um, she's relatively brand new and she is pretty tightly strong to begin with and I I know that probably has a lot to do with it um, of how sturdy she is but um, it's just I just have no complaints of her body whatsoever so I thought I would just kind of point out why I feel like, you know, she looks more delicate and, and whatnot. Um, so she does have pretty standard head um, with a hook that's joining the body and the head together. And her head cap um, just comes right out. And it does have the magnets on top and bottom with the company logo in the middle. And it just, it just shuts <laughs> um, it's really easy um, to deal with her head cap and um, yeah the magnets are very strong and I don't have any problem whatsoever of them just coming off or anything um, and her I guess her head movement isn't really like all that great I must say um, because I know there's a lot more dolls that could do more with their heads um, however that's pretty much the movement that she has with her head but um, however she does have this um, like a joint that goes all the way across um, right below her bust and because of that if I want her to look down and if I want to make her even look down even further, I can just kind of make her slouch and, you know, that kind of solves that problem. So I have no problem of her head actually doesn't have that much of a mobility. I think it's fine. Um, and her shoulder joint just is a little um, ball joint there, um, which is pretty standard, but her shoulder could actually hold a lot better than a lot of the other dolls so um, she can pretty much do that and she doesn't have any kips or anything like that and it just she just holds it perfectly and she can put up and down but um, in betweens too she doesn't I mean it doesn't have any locking mechanism or anything like that but she can just hold it really nicely so that's really good thing about I, I don't know, I just find that really <laughs> fascinating some, for some reason. And her elbow does have a um, double joint, but you kind of have to play with it and pull this, I guess, almost like a peanut looking thing out um, in order for her to touch her head or anything. And that's kind of, um, you can see right here. Um, so yeah, you kind of have to play with that um, to get it out. Um, but I pretty much just use it like this. I don't usually put her in those kind of positions anyways. Um, but it does have that if you want. Um, and then you can kind of, I don't know if you can, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit to her um, collarbones here. You can kind of see the bone structure and um, from the neck to it's a little bit you know can you guys see <laughs> um, so that's really nice and also right below her arm you can kind of see her rib cage right right along here and it creates that little subtle shadow um, that kind of makes her look a little bit more thinly built um, and I'm not saying that's nice or anything but I feel like that is nice detail um, that she has and also um, on her back where whoops where her shoulder blades are you can kind of see those details going um, too close 
you can kind of see that detail, the shoulder blades and stuff. Um, so yeah, so I think that's pretty nice detail that she has. And when she slouches, you can, you know, there's this lock, um, I guess little, um, resin piece sticking out here that it kind of catches and get, you know, kind of locks it. Oops. And that's the standard, I guess. Um, and then the leg wise, it's pretty similar with a lot of the other dolls. Um, but, uh, she does actually have the, um, um, what is it? The, the swivel, um, joint. Oops. Sorry guys for like, um, she does have that yet. Um, her legs just don't go like everywhere. Like some of the other dolls that I've dealt with. Um, and her knees are single joint, nothing too special there. Um, and her feet kind of has similar a range of motion with the wrist. So, yeah. And like I said, she's very sturdy. Um, and that's like the one of the most, I guess, I guess the aspect that I really, really like about this doll. And, um, some of the, you know, like her belly... Um, and her waist area also, and you can kind of see, um, the, the bone right here, um, as well. And those are kind of, you can kind of see. So those features kind of make her, I feel like she's more, um, if I can compare it again to like a real person, she's more thin, thinly built. And even her arm, um, if you see it from the front, um, it, it looks like um, this part was a little bit more squished so that when you see it from the front, it has a little bit more of a thin arm appearance, I feel like. Um, so, and yeah, I think <laughs> that's pretty much it. And um, I thought I would just go ahead and share that with you guys and just kind of show you um, her body and... Um, I just love the delicateness of her body and yet she's very, very sturdy. So I really like that. Um, I do have a CGR body right now, right next to me. Um, so I will just kind of sit her down here and show you, um, like how she is similar on her upper, um, torso parts, like. Um, let's see. Um, like the collarbone here is pretty similar. She does have a little extra little thing on her shoulder, but you know, like she's not, she doesn't hold that position too well. Um, then, oh, see, uh, okay. I'm not gonna try to do comparison from top to bottom, but. Um, you know, just the aesthetic wise, um, they do look pretty similar, um, as far as her upper parts go. So yeah, um, I thought I would do a little <laughs> different video this time and just kind of share with you, um, the body and that's pretty much it. So I will cut it off now. Um, I think I rambled so much because I haven't done this video for a very long time. But anyways, hopefully it was a little bit more helpful if you guys are thinking about buying the little Monica doll. Um, so yeah, so if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I will try to comment um, as soon as possible. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys.